So we're trying to find basically the slope on a surface or the rate of change of some function when we go in a particular direction in the input space. And we came up with a notation for that. When we write d sub u of some function f, we mean the derivative of f in the direction of u. Now this u needs to be a unit vector. So if it's not a unit vector, we'll turn it into a unit vector. The reason is when we talk about a derivative, if we say the slope is 3, we mean that if you go over about 1 with the input, you're going to go up about 3 with the output. So we make this a unit vector so it's, we're still going over an amount 1 even if we're heading off in some direction here. Now we figured out that the way to calculate that really comes down to finding the gradient of the function and dotting it with your unit vector. Here's an example. We have um, our function f is 2x squared plus y squared. So if we want to find the, the direction, um, the derivative in this direction 3, negative 4, what we need to do is calculate a unit vector. Let's see. So our vector u, its length, is the square root of 9 plus 16, which is the square root of 25, which is 5. So actually, as a unit vector, we're talking about doing the, we're, we're talking about this vector that goes 3 fifths uh, in the x direction and negative 4 fifths in the y direction of our function f. And the gradient of our function, let's see, that's just the derivative of this first one with respect to x, which is 4x. And the derivative of this with respect to y is going to be 2y. So we get this vector, right? And we're going to dot it with our unit vector, which is 3 fifths and negative 4 fifths. Let's see, 3 quarters of 4x is going to be 3x. And negative 4 fifths times 2y is going to be negative 8 fifths y. So given some point x and y, this gives us the slope in the direction of u at that particular point. So in our case, we're told to find it at um, the point x naught, y naught, x naught is negative 1, and y naught is 1. So at our particular location, we want the derivative of f in the direction of u at negative 1, 1. Then we plug in negative 1 for x and positive 1 for y, and we're going to get negative 3 minus 8 fifths. So how many fifths is uh, negative 3? Negative 15 fifths minus 8 fifths would be negative 23 fifths. We've got our directional derivative. If you're on this surface, OK, and you think about going in the direction of 3, negative 4, so you're going forward 3 and back 4 in the y direction, so you're going this way down in the input space, then, this, then uh, if you're at this location, if this is location negative 1, 1, then the slope that you're seeing is about negative 25 fifths. You can also do this in three dimensions. The formula is going to be the same, even though we don't really have that surface, um, that surface view. So we have just, we have some function and we're asking, okay, this function depends on my location in space. If I move out from this location in three dimensional space, um, in, in the direction of that vector, what's going to be the rate of change of my actual function? So again, the, the formula is the same. You just to find the derivative of f in the direction of u, you take the gradient of f and you dot it with that u, but this u needs to be a unit vector because we want to know when we talk about a slope, we can think about it as how far do you fall in a distance of 1. So we just convert this guy to a unit vector. In our case, the length of this vector, um, the length of 4, 2, and negative 5, is the square root of 16 plus 4, 4 plus 25. So 16 plus 4 plus 25 is the square root of 45, uh, 45. And 45 is 9 times 5, so this is 3 root 5 is, is the length of our vector. Our gradient is, let's see, the first component is the derivative with respect to x, which is 2x. The second component is the derivative with respect to y, which is 4y. And the third component is the derivative with respect to z, which is negative 6z. OK, <clears throat> so let's see, at our particular location, x is 1, and y is negative 1, and z is 3. So at this particular location, the gradient is, let's see, 2 times 1 would be 2, 4 times negative 1 would be negative 4. And negative 6 times 3 would be negative 18. So there's our gradient. So to get the derivative of our, 
at this point to get the, the derivative in the direction of u of our function f is just going to be the dot product here of the gradient with my unit vector, which my unit vector is 4 over 3 root 5, 2 over 3 root 5, and negative 5 over 3 root 5. Okay, so do this and we're going to get 8 over 3 root 5 and a minus 8 over 3 root 5 and negative 18 times 5 is positive 90 so we get 90 over 3 root 5. These two cancel so that just leaves us 90 divided by 3 that's 30 over root 5. Um, it might be nice to rationalize the denominator. If we multiply top and bottom by root 5, we get 30 root 5 over 5. And 5 goes into 36 times, so we get 6 root 5. That's a little bit prettier if we go ahead and rationalize the denominator for that directional derivative. So we can calculate directional derivatives. It's easy. Just make sure you're talking about a unit vector. Then do the gradient of f dotted with that unit vector. What we look at next is how do you what, what direction should you go so that um, you get the... The, the maximal change, right? What would be the way to go to, um, to ascend as quickly as possible? What should that unit vector u look like? 